Can you imagine a candy-made world? We would love to live in a world made of candy. The perfect world would resemble the house of Hansel and Gretel and a side of Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory inside Sugar Rush, the fictitious arcade game from Wreck-It Ralph. The harsh truth is that the real life isn't like that, so our sweet ideas aren't feasible. Still, who can stop a dreamer from dreaming, right? Frequently, we catch ourselves thinking about every country's favorite sweets. Chocolates, cookies, bubblegums, marshmallows, you name it. Have you ever thought about illegal candy? Why would candy be illegal? If you're curious about it, you're about to find out about 10 banned candies that are extremely dangerous. Come with us, let's go. Number 10, Roadkill Gummy Candy. Some businesses get very creative minds when it comes to developing new products. One idea can take them to the top of the world while others just fail. Kraft Foods, now Mondelez, created a roadkill shaped gummy candy. Gummy candies are one of the best sweets in the world, so these creative business people thought they could improve them. They could make gummy candies funnier, and who could blame them, right? The bad thing about our 10th spot winner today is that it was just downright cruel. I don't know what they were thinking, really. When we see a roadkill, some people feel disgusted, others feel shame, sadness, horror, but who on earth would think it's funny? Well, product developers at the time thought so, as well as the people who approved it on the inside of the company. If we think about it, the gummy candy, which is shaped like critters run over by cars, complete with tire tracks, is not a good thing for kids. It makes them think that it's normal to be cruel to animals. Kraft spokesman Larry Bowman said in an interview, we take comments from our consumers real seriously, and in hindsight, we understand that this product could be misunderstood. Number nine. Toffee Crisp Colors are crucial for product marketing, either because it has taken into account the psychology of color or the most striking colors are chosen. Usually this is the case for candy packets. They are sought to use vibrant colors so they capture a customer's attention. Even if there are thousands of colors in the world, some combinations represent specific objects. What comes to mind when you think of an orange, yellow, and black candy packet? Surely you don't think about Toffee Crisp. So the problem with this product was the packet colors. Back in 2014, Hershey filed a lawsuit against LBB Imports for importing chocolates. The company claimed that it would only have bought the rights to sell these chocolate bars because it bought Cadbury's US production in the 1980s. Yeah, the situation with Toffee Crisp is a little more complicated, but the lawsuit is not everything Hershey had presented. They claimed that several of the chocolate bars were coming into the US were infringing on the company's trademark. In short, Hershey won, LBB imports, nothing. Number 8. Lollipipes They come in every flavor, color, and shape you can imagine. A pie lollipop? Done. A chicken lollipop? Well, a little bit weird, but yeah, done. A lollipop with the shape of a pipe? It's crazy, but they exist, and they're called lollipipes. The product resembles a smoking pipe and sadly looks more like addicts who use illegal substances. Funny enough, they come in a wide range of flavors and colors from watermelon to apple. As soon as lollipipes found someone with common sense, the authorities did their best to stop these candies from falling into kids' hands. That's why lollipipes were banned in the state of Washington in 2011 and also banned from 7-Eleven stores in Indiana. Maybe the creators of lollipipes meant to produce a funny product or just a product for older people, but the fact that it was within reach of kids meant a danger of desensitizing them to the risks of the use of drugs. Number 7. Candy Cigarettes Let's be honest, if children act if they're smoking, it's very likely that they're imitating adults. Most of the time, close adults, but many times it could be because of movies or perversely designed candies. At the 7th spot, we have such candies, candy cigarettes. They didn't taste any good and some of them didn't even have flavor. The cool thing about these candies is that they could look like some specific adults, which is totally wrong. Candy cigarettes are a way to market cigarettes to children and are an example of how international trademark or copyright laws are infringed to promote tobacco products to children. Candy cigarettes have branding identical to cigarette bars. It's hard to think that companies inside the confectionery and tobacco aren't working together to produce such perverse candies. Fortunately, they are forbidden, as they should be. Number 6. Smarties 
What is the recipe to produce the best candy? Some people think it's a combination of flavor, branding, and a catchy name. The Smarties have all of those qualities. Good flavor, it's sold worldwide, and has a cool name. Now why are Smarties a banned product? They caused controversy in Oregon and Michigan when school officials discovered students were grinding up the candy and snorting it. So the name, flavor, nor branding were the problem. It's kids who wanted to be mischievous were the cause of why Smarties was banned. Sure, these kids didn't have a smarty idea. On the contrary, it was quite terrible. They end up suffering health problems, such as chronic coughing and infection, and some parents complained about how maggots were infesting their children's noses. Number 5. Hippy Sippy Every time we hear the word hippie, we picture tie-dye clothes, free love, and peace. The rising popularity of the hippie culture started in the late 60s. At that time, the culture started to actually influence the market. Even though there are very impressive events that marked the 60s, the abuse of illegal substances became a public health problem. Taking into account this phenomenon, the Hippie Sippy was a candy that marketed to kids who wanted to jump on the hippie bandwagon. The candies consisted of a tube of sweet liquid that kids could bite and sip. It wasn't too different from other candies on the market that did the same thing. But the difference with this product is that the Hippie Sippy was shaped like a needle. What were the creators thinking? A candy shaped into a needle? Just like the ones addicts use? Really? The product wasn't the parents' favorite, and that's why the Hippie Sippy didn't stay on store shelves very long. This makes us think, how far do industries really want to go? Number 4. Haribo Gummy Bears Gummy bears are delightful. They're among my personal favorite, for sure. But that's not the reason that they made it to today's fourth spot. Sadly, nobody should eat more than a handful. However, they come in huge bags with hundreds of them. Kinda tricky, right? The harmless little sweet creatures come in a catering sized bag, a bulging 5 pound plastic coated wad of more than a thousand bears. They are packed with a type of malatol syrup, also known as lycosin. Yeah, I didn't have a clue about it before. The thing is, the stuff is a laxative, as well as an artificial sweetener. Yikes! Number 3. Tamarin Bolorindo Lollipops we all have a favorite candy flavor. Some people like sweet flavors, other people like bitter, and then there are people who like something tropical. At the third spot, we brought you an exotic flavor with the Tamarind Bolorindo Bollipops. They are soft, dark brown, with a white and orange striped stick. The orange and red wrappers have Bolorindo and white lettering and a figure of a brown tamarind fruit. This flavor can be considered as something new and refreshing, so why did these lollipops get banned? These tropical delicacies have excessively high levels of lead and poise a significant health risk. The investigation of the product started after a two-year-old Orange County child was found to have very high levels of lead in a routine blood test the child had eaten the tamarind lollipops. Now lollipops contain lead in their mix? Not exactly. The candy wrappers and the sticks were both toxic parts, which sadly put the exotic lollipops out of the market. And now get ready for today's nuclear best pick. Best pick number two, Toxic Waste Nuclear Sludge Chew Bar. A long and terrible name made it to our best pick today. The Toxic Waste Nuclear Sludge Chew Bar comes in different flavors, such as sour apple, blue raspberry, and cherry chew bars, all of them from Pakistan. Just imagine that you're eating toxic waste nuclear. We can't deny that it sounds pretty cool, but for the Food and Drug Administration, it wasn't that cool. The problem wasn't their flavors or where they come from. The problem was the true toxic lead content. Yeah, lead again. The California Department for Public Health found the problem when they analyzed a batch of the cherry flavored bars. The Food and Drug Administration doesn't allow more than 0.1 parts per million because lead poisoning damages central nervous systems and can cause severe learning and behavioral disorders. Scarily enough, the batch had more than double the maximum amount of safe lead content. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 1. Nestle Magic Ball 
If you're a 90s kid, or had a 90s kid, then you're familiar with the Magic Ball, which made it to number one spot today. We've seen a lot of variants for this product, some more popular than others, but the candy is the same. A chocolate ball with a special surprise, a plastic toy, embedded in the middle. In the Nestle Magic Ball was usually of the Disney or Pokemon variety. Unfortunately, these treats were illegal. Way back in 1938, President Franklin Roosevelt signed into law the Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act. Does this mean that the president hated Nestle Magic Ball? Well, not exactly. In it, there is a provision that states a confectionery is adulterated and therefore illegal if it has partially or completely embedded therein any non-nutritive object. A plastic toy is a non-nutritive object, so practically the Nestle Magic Ball has been illegal for five decades before it ever even existed. Even though the product was popular throughout the early 1990s, a Nestle competitor went after the chocolate company, stating that plastic toys were choking hazards. After a long battle where Nestle insisted the product was safe, the FDA agreed with the consumer groups, saying that under the act as it was written, the candy was illegal. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Keep watching our great content. Feeling tempted to try to eat some candy? Avoid all the nasty candies above. And remember, eat more fruits and vegetables. It's a lot healthier, friends. See you next time. I'm Donovan. Take care.